Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I conquered painting curly hair. This is uh, my daughter and you may wonder why she's upside down right now. Well, I did a video of, of, uh, of her uh, a couple months ago um, and it's how to do an underpainting and water and oils and um, so I I turned the painting upside down to see if I could just see the the shapes and instead of thinking of it as hair of just thinking of it as abstract shapes and it really didn't work for me so and it usually it would but her hair is crazy curly so I decided to try to paint it straight instead sometimes I get go and, sh and uh, straighten her hair and but the, all the pictures that I have of her with straight hair are not very good and I'm not very good at making up hair so you'll see as I uh, start painting that I'm not very good at um, making up things and it just didn't feel right it didn't I'm so used to seeing her with curly hair that it just didn't seem right and I, every time I looked at it I'm like man I really wish that I could just paint her hair curly um, but I just kept trying to do the straight hair and it looked kind of like spaghetti strands or strands of yarn um, and it wasn't looking very good so I uh, I will change it here in a little bit but so now I am starting to put some of the, the color glaze over top of the black and white um, paint and it is totally dry um, it's oil paint, and I'm using uh, liquid glazing medium, and it is um, it's for oil paint, just for oil paint, and you just mix your um, translucent oil paints in with it, and it gives it a kind of a almost a glass look, um, like you're looking through. Um, glass or stained glass it's kind of it's it's really pretty so right now I am painting on oh, what looks uh, like a but not the right color <laughs> it looks kind of yellow she looks like she's got jaundice and I uh, <laughs> I will fix that in a little bit and that's the good thing about glazing is you can keep going over with colors and if you mess up you can always go back with um, with white paint again and and let it dry and then start over and start the glazing process all over again that's the the nice thing about oil paints is you can always fix you know what you've messed up so now I'm putting some color on her mouth and I um I fixed her her teeth because in this picture she this is before she had braces and so her front teeth are a little bit crooked and so I just took a picture of her teeth now with her braces on because they have since then um, straightened out and it, it looks I think it looks like what her teeth are gonna look like when her braces come off which is pretty cool um, so now I'm just putting some more of that yellow yellowish color on um, and I'm putting the background in and I think I missed some of this because I don't I didn't see where I put any of that green in so I must have uh, cut out some of the video on accident sometimes I will record or I will paint and think I'm recording when I'm not <laughs> that was all off camera it was kind of a test to see if I could could even do the curly hair and look I just started putting um, little, you know, abstract little swirls wherever I saw them in her hair, and it, it just started kind of coming out, and it surprised me. Um, I, I had to, I used the color picker on Photoshop, the like the eyedrop tool, and then it would show me what color was in, you know, parts of her hair. The sun was shining, and so the one side of her had um, the light was the sunlight was shining through and it made her hair really like a reddish golden color and then the other side where the sun was not hitting it as much it was in shadow it was darker and it had like purples and it had colors that I wasn't really expecting 
So that um, eyedropper tool is a really um, good tool to use for painting or, or, or color pencil or, you know, anything where you're using color. So going in and getting um, the, the darks and the lights in her hair really helped. Um, once I started getting the, the, the hang of, you know, how to do the curls, um, it became really easy. So here I am painting some little, um, the little dandelion, the little, whatever they're called, the little puffy, I guess they're the, like the seed pods, um, flying around. And so I'm, I've got them coming down, you know, down her face and, um, one, one's going to be in her hair as well. But I kept, I had her blow so many of those in our backyard and so no wonder we have so many of them growing so here I have decided to put that um, the shadow uh, which I wasn't going to do but I decided to put the darker shadow with the the harsher um, highlight and it ended up looking a lot better because at first I was trying to just make her face like all in shadow but it just didn't the picture I really love how the, the, the photograph is and so I wanted it to look like the photo and so I'm glad that I did that and what I have in my hand is a I printed a, a picture out of her and I made sure that the colors were, I, I got a new printer, and so the, the colors um, were just like what I saw on the screen. And I put it in like a little plastic sleeve, and then I could mix the colors and then kind of put a little bit, a little dab on the photograph, you know, with the sleeve on it, and I could see if it was the right color or not, and that was so helpful. So here I'm lightening up that hand. Um, it's it's in the direct sunlight, and so it is really light, just like that um, highlight that's down the left side of her face. So this painting is pretty much done. I'm probably going to work um, on the neck and maybe make her shirt a different color. I'm not sure, but, um, I, I wanted to show everyone how I was able to tackle this curly hair of hers. And I'm, um, actually I learned so much 